Hi everybody, Patrick here from PaintballProps.com, EngineeringShock.com, and ElectronicLessons.com. I wanted to I want to introduce you to DEFCON 1, which is our latest escape room prop. Um, as you can see, this, it, it comes with a main processor board, timer board, um, a uh, red button that connects to the main board, four key switch modules, and it comes with ten keys. Uh, it, it'll also, it also comes with the power supply, the power supply that plugs into the wall that I'm going to use to power this up in a minute to give you a demonstration. And it also comes with a stereo connector that uh, allows for you to connect the stereo output to your stereo system in your escape room. Uh, so let me just power this up and I'm going to let the unit speak for itself. I've zoomed out for the demonstration. Before I power it up, I wanted to mention that this is key 1 connected to the leftmost uh, header. Key 2, Key 3, Key 4, and Key 5. Now, we're, during power-up, we have three options. You can program your uh, game to be 30 minutes, 45 minutes, or 60 minutes. And to do that, we're going to use Key 1 and Key 2. So I've got my AC to DC power adapter plugged into the wall. Everything has mounting holes. Uh, it comes to you fully assembled, and all you have to do is mount it in your escape room. So I'm going to plug it in. Red button turns on. I'm also, I've also t uh, plugged in my uh, stereo connector into my stereo system. Uh, I hope the volume is sufficient. I'm going to bring the stereo system over a bit. Okay, so if I want a 60 minute game, all keys have to be turned left, which is in the off position. If I, if I uh, press the red button at this point and all of the keys are turned left, uh, that's, that's 60 minutes. If I turn key one to the right, and then press the red button, it'll be 30 minutes. If I turn key 2, and then press the red button, 45 minutes. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to turn, uh, just for the first demonstration, I'm going to turn uh, key 2 right, and then I'm going to press the button. Turn all keys to the left and prepare for the game. So, that's the introduction. It's programmed, that, pro that time is programmed in. In order to, start the, to get ready to start the game, I have to turn all keys left. So... Press the red button to start the game. Press the red button to start the game. <clears throat> now, wait, listen, listen. Press the red button to start the game. After you've gotten your game to this point, just invite your your customers into... Press the red button to start the game. ...into the room. Now I'm going to start the game. I'm a customer. I'm pressing the red button. Defense readiness condition DEFCON 1 has been reached. Nuclear war is imminent. Insert all five nuclear code keys into the key switch slots and turn right simultaneously to launch heat-seeking missile countermeasures and retaliation warheads. Inbound missiles estimated to reach homeland soil in 45 minutes. Have a nice day. Okay, so at this point, <coughs> you've, got, you've got the keys. Uh, during power up, you have ten keys. Each each key module comes with two keys. You need five for the game, five for the puzzles, and you have only need one for yourself. And so you'll have <clears throat> five extra for yourself. Um, if you if you wanted a sixty minute game again, all you had to do was power it up with all keys turned left. So here's where you come in. You hi, you hide all of these keys in puzzles. You create the puzzles. You create the room. And uh, once all keys are found, all keys are identical. All key modules are identical. But in order to finish the game, you might think, well, why don't I just use one key to turn all the key modules right? You need to turn all keys simultaneously uh, to start the game or to end the game. So once you turn one key, there's a timer that the, um, <clears throat> I've got the, pro the, key, the for the sake of demonstration, I've got the. Um, <clears throat> I've got it programmed so uh, that timer is very long, so I can literally turn all the keys for the demonstrations. I'm only one person. You wouldn't have one person uh, in an escape room. You'd have three. In which case, you'd find all the key. They'd find all the keys, and each person would take. You know, two people would take two. One person would take the the one would take one, and they would all turn at the exact same time. So I've programmed this in. Uh, I say I found all the keys just for the sake of demonstration. I've programmed in a very very long timer. Uh, I'm just going to show you, the, the timer is way too long right now, I've turned one key, and after about five seconds, it's going to say, well, I'll show you. Code keys not turned simultaneously. Turn all keys left to their original position and try again. And it's going to keep saying that until I turn this key, and turn, uh, all keys are turned back. Turn all keys left to their original position and try again. <clears throat> so, it w would have kept saying that if I didn't turn all keys back. So, the real program you have about uh, one-fifth of a second to turn all keys on. So you can't just turn one key, uh, 
you know, put it in the next slot, put it in the next slot. You need all keys inserted at the exact same time, and you need all five to turn it right. Now, for the, again, for the sake of demonstration, I've made that timer really long, so I can quickly do it myself. Countermeasures and retaliation strikes launched. May God have mercy on your souls. Game over. You win. So, but again, that was just for demonstration. The real program, you have about one-fifth of a second. So you all have to turn at the exact same time. And if you don't, it tells you keys were not turned simultaneously. So you need to, they, the, the players need to find all five keys. <clears throat> the key modules are removable and they're mountable using this, uh, using these nuts. Very easy to mount. And uh, so what I have to do in order to do anything at this point, I can't do anything. Why not? I need to turn all keys back into the original position. Now if I press that button, it'll place me in a 60 minute game because I haven't, because uh, <coughs> I don't have any keys turned right. But you need to end the game, you need to turn all keys back to normal state, and if you want to program it in 30 minutes or 45 minutes, I'll do 30 minutes this game, then you have to turn this key back, key one back. Now I'll, I'll press the button. Turn all keys to the left and prepare for the game. Okay. Press the red button to start the game. Defense readiness condition DEFCON 1 has been reached. Nuclear war is imminent. Insert all five nuclear code keys into the key switch slots and turn right simultaneously to launch heat-seeking missile countermeasures and retaliation warheads. Inbound missiles estimated to reach homeland soil in 30 minutes. Have a nice day. Now, for the sake of uh, demonstration, I'm going, to, I'm going to reset the unit and um, I'm going to show you a 60-minute game. Okay, 60-minute game. All keys turn left on power-up. Turn all keys to the left and prepare for the game. Press the red button to start the game. Defense readiness condition DEFCON 1 has been reached. Nuclear war is imminent. Insert all five nuclear code keys into the key switch slots and turn right simultaneously to launch heat-seeking missile countermeasures and retaliation warheads. Inbound missiles estimated to reach homeland soil in 60 minutes. Have a nice day. Okay, so what happens if time runs out? With roughly 20 seconds left, uh, I'm just going to mention one more time that at this point, the players obviously haven't found the keys, uh, or all of the keys, um, and the time in the game is running out, meaning that a nuclear strike has occurred. So, here is the audio, and this is how the game ends. Foreign warheads have reached homeland soil. Survivors can look forward to a hundred years of fallout. What a miserable existence. Game over. You lose. And with that, the unit is reset. Uh, well, actually, I should say all of the key modules have to be turned left, and then it all resets the system. As soon as all, after that happens, all the keys are turned left, game resets, and I can start the game again. Uh, obviously, I want to set my game time by turning keys one or two for 30 minutes or 45 minutes, or I can just leave all keys turned to the opposition to the left and I can start the game again. Turn all keys to the left and prepare for the game. And then press, press the red button to start the game. It say, automatically says press the red button to start the game because all keys are turned left at that point. Press the red button to start the game. Okay, so I'm going to turn off my uh, computer speakers. That is DEFCON 1. I uh, hope you like it. I'm actually really excited about this prop. I had a lot of fun designing it. Uh, I really like the sassy English voice. I'm just using a, a, a $10 set of computer speakers, so the audio quality coming out of these things isn't fantastic. I would hope that you would use your, uh, a higher grade uh, audio system. But again, everything has mounting holes, four mounting holes. Uh, for each of the boards, the LED button can be removed from this connector, and you can mount it using using this uh, uh, nut. And again, everything's mountable. Very easy, I would think very easy to mount. It comes with a 9 volt AC to DC adapter, uh, and it comes with a stereo cable. Everything you need. Uh, assembly is extremely easy. Uh, it will come to you fully assembled. So, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, check us out at uh, paintballprops.com or engineeringshock.com. We have a uh, a contact, uh, contact us page at both sites. And uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoy this. Uh, check out our other props at paintballprops.com. Thanks for watching, everyone.